Look at my forehead. My skin looks like glass. Hair done, nails done, everything did, honey. Now let's do the makeup. This video was sponsored by Sephora at Kohl's because we have to talk about the Sephora savings event at Sephora at Kohl's. Cause it's time, girl. Now let's start off with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. This is the shade 8N1. Do you love that? I had to give you my best attempt at a French accent because I wanna feel fancy, I wanna look good, and I know that this foundation it's gonna take me there, wanna go there. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna do just that, all right? If you're not already a Beauty Insider member, you need to be because first of all, it's free and easy to sign up, okay? So it takes all the guesswork out of it. Let's go ahead and get you signed up. Link is below. Then you are gonna get double the rewards, okay? Kohl's rewards and Beauty Insider points. So why not cash in in both places? Hello? The benefits are gonna be double, you feel me? You're still gonna have access to all of the great products that we know and love like this Estee Lauder foundation. I mean, look at the color color match. It is just so good. It covers the skin. So you're gonna get double rewards, okay? Go ahead and sign up because it's free. Now you know your girl is rouge. I've been rouge for a few years now. This is crazy. In a way, it's a problem, but in a way, it just shows my loyalty. Hello. Go ahead and just, you know, grab what you can. This is not anything by force. My dance here is not by force. Get your card together. We're gonna use some of my favorite products that are at Sephora at Kohl's. So if you love any of these, they are all going to be linked down below. I wanna grab two more shades of the Sephora Four collection best skin ever glow concealers. I have shade 54 and 47. Which of these are gonna give me the highlight that I want? I'm gonna try 54. Cause you know I have 56, which is a nice subtle highlight. But you your girl. I like it to be cranked up, okay? I like my highlights to be cranked up. And this shade is called Warm Pecan. Oh, it's a unique shade. It almost matches my shirt. <laughs> I think it's gonna be cute though. I think it'll be cute. It's a different undertone than what I'm used to. So the sale starts on April 5th until April 15th. Now you know Rouge members get first dibs, okay? You could send me your cart, but I'm not getting it for you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's be nice. If you're Rouge, you get first access, okay? Rouge, tap in, okay? Let me know where you at. And we get 20% off the whole duration of the sale. So that's the 5th until the 15th. And here's my damp beauty sponge. And then VIB members can start shopping on the 9th and you get 15% off, okay? Still a very good deal, hello? And same for the Beauty Insider members, you also get to shop on the 9th until the 15th and get 10% off, okay? So they're different levels. You've got Beauty Insider, VIB, and then Rouge. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> This is highlighted. What do you think? Love the finish. That was 54. I'm gonna take 47 to just give it a little more of a pop. Look what's happening with the earth behind me. Different shades. This is rich tan and it's a number 47. Yes, yes, yes. That's gonna pop how I need it to. So even if you've never been a Beauty Insider member, you can certainly sign up, like I said, for free and you'll automatically be able to shop and get 10% off of your purchases. I love how this concealer still gives me the glow. It just looks so good. It's a little bit of 47 to give me a Pop, okay. Without even blending it in, I can just see a glow on my face. Let's take a little more 47. And my favorite that we sometimes forget is that Sephora collection products are 30% off. So this concealer, okay, the micro smooth powder that I'm gonna use, any of the Sephora collection products, the brushes, honey, 30% off. I literally just restocked on the micro smooth powders and I like the shade espresso for all over use. And then I'm like, oh, they're gonna go on sale again. But you know, it's you can never have too much because it's one of my favorite products. In fact, if you you watched my video when my mom was here and she wanted her makeup into that video. <laughs> I gave her one of my powders and I was like, this is what I like and I'm giving it to you. But that's okay. It's all good, baby. So now's the time. Hopefully your cards are already ready like mine is. And make sure you use the links in my description box to grab any of these amazing products. Look at my forehead. My skin looks like glass. Oh my goodness. This concealer, if you get nothing, this is what you need. Make sure you shop now. Links are in the description box because how? And then remember the KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Balm. This is the shade 098. I love this to contour the face. Love using the damn beauty sponge to apply it because it just goes on so much easier. It melts right into the skin. It is just so creamy. I mean, granted, yes, it's a complexion product, but you know me, okay? Former makeup artist, I'm gonna use the products to make it do what I need it to do, baby. And in this case, because of the shade, I love to use it as a contour. Come on. Just look at the melt. Look at the bone structure. Look at the material. <laughs> 
Now to set the under eyes, you know that we love the tried and true Sephora collection translucent powder. It's just so good and it's not gonna leave any white cast on the face. I have the natural creasing under my eyes. Let's make sure that we even out any of the creasing. And you gotta keep your eyes cockeyed like this, okay? Using the Sephora 19 brush, which looks like this. Get some of the products, back of the hand to diffuse. And then we're gonna pat that right here, okay? Once we get one layer of it on, then we can go in again if needed. But I just had to get that first one down because no one wants the fine lines to show, hello? Just patting it in again to help the product absorb into the skin. And look at that, gone, gone. With the 79 brush, you can totally take some of the product on the cap. Dust off the excess again. I don't like this to be too wild and crazy. And then go around areas where you tend to crease. So if that's around your mouth, do that. For me, my eyebrows will get greasy or above the lid. I like to make sure I cancel that out. You can put this all over your face if you wanted to. It really is up to you. And it's gonna look so good. This is another Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Powder. Brand spanking new. Doesn't she look so buttery? Ooh. This is a 459 brush. Let's gather some of this and just get it all over the face. Everywhere except where I put my contour. I want that to still stay. This is gonna add a light coverage. It's gonna give it a nice finish. It's not really here to do anything high powered, but it just, it does something that just gives the face such a beautiful touch, okay? So the micro smooth powder is really good. Even if you wanted a quick get up and go look and you didn't wanna do all of these steps, to me, having this micro smooth powder is gonna be great because it helps to blur the skin in the lightest way and just make it look so pretty and just so soft. Now I'm gonna try new things, but I'm also gonna stick to what I know and love because excuse me, why make things hard if they don't need to be? Love this Milk Cosmetics highlighter. The shade is lit and I use my finger because we have warm blood pumping through our veins and it helps to heat up the product. So do you see that? It's not harsh at all. It looks so melted into the skin. So use your finger, tap, 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 build it up as, as loud as you want it to be or you can make it as soft as you want it to be, okay? I just love that it just does something so subtle for certain parts of your face. It just, it's just so subtle. Now you can really get up in here and then get it to look, you know, really pronounced if you want. I like to just a little bit. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do blush in a second. Let's do eyebrows first. I don't know where I've been, but I recently picked up the Sephora Collection Retractable Brow Pencil. It's actually a waterproof brow pencil, which I love. This is the shade Granite. Now on the other side, let's brush up the brows and then we gonna fill them in. Now, I do my eyebrows the way I do my eyebrows, okay? <laughs> I like my makeup brows to look way different than my microbladed brows, which are my brows that I keep on, obviously, when I don't have my makeup. <laughs> I have makeup brows and I have non-makeup brows. I like the arch to be a lot higher. And this color is so good. Granted, it reminds me of what, a natural black. It's not jet black. It's just black enough, you feel me? The thinness of this pencil is so good because I can get the hair-like looking strokes and then I can fill it in where I need to toward the end of the brow. So here I am just going an upward. Ooh. Made a little mistake right there, but don't be alarmed because we're gonna clean that up. And that's where the concealer comes in. We're gonna use the same Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Glow Concealer. We're gonna go with the one that's darker, more natural with my skin, for my skin tone, just so that the brow is highlighted, but not a lot, you know? We are gonna work it up. Toward the middle to the tail of my brow, I'm now arching it and then connecting it, okay? We're connecting the dots and create your brow however you want your brow to be. It's your face, it's your makeup game. It's what you wanna do, you feel me? Cause I always tell you, I'm gonna do what I wanna do, you know? You know? Okay, so I actually used 47 under my brows and this concealer melts into the skin so well, it didn't look too harsh. I think it looks good because we're doing a very simple eye today using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder on the eyes. I wanted the brow bone to pop and this color looks good. What do you think? Comment below and let me know, baby. Again, all links to products I'm using are down below. Get some of this Sephora Translucent Powder, the Sephora 19 brush, and let's set this. You can leave it if you want this to look glowy and dewy or you can choose to set it. It's up to you. I'm just gonna go over with leftover over on my eyelid again, just to make sure that the lid is not oily. Okay, it's coming together. In case you're wondering, I use the Sephora Collection 45 brush to carve under my brows. Now for a very simple eye, almost looks like you have nothing on your eyes. We're taking the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. The shade is Espresso, like I said before. And then this is the 19 brush. And then I'm going over this area, isolating out the brow bone, okay? Because I still want this area to be Hi, I almost said high lit. Yeah, high lit, whatever. I still want to be high lit. Hey, that's my new word, okay? First one. So we're gonna leave that area there. We are gonna feather it in lightly. I'm using light touch right here because you want it to blend, no harsh lines, right? But you want there to be a gradient, a little bit of a darkness and then the highlighted area here. This is not gonna be a brown smoky eye, okay? But it will make your eyelid look more even and just more beautiful. Do you see a difference in here? There's nothing here and then there's something here. 
Now, could I just do this and go, yeah, but mm, this looks better to me. What do you think? Comment and let me know. And then it does make a difference to take the same powder under the eye, feathering it here. We're using the same Sephora 19 brush. It creates a subtle shadow, okay? And now for blush, I still stand by orange blush on brown skin. However, I've been having fun with pink blush all over again. It's just been ages for me. So I'm gonna use the One Size by Patrick Sta. This is the Girly Pop 3D Blush Trio. Let's do the cream blush first, which is right here at the top. I'm gonna use the beauty sponge. This is still slightly damp. I'm blotting it off so that there's not so much of the contour on the bottom and then go into the cream. We want it to mix. So I'm not going to use a brand new sponge to do this because I want the contour and the blush to mix. Okay. So taking some of this first to lay down. Wow. I can already see it very subtle, but I can see it. Okay. And I'm putting this on at an angle ish, you know, turning it again at an angle and then applying it. I could stop right there, but let's go on top with the powder here in the middle. And this shade is Pick Me. I'm using the 59 brush right here in the middle. Ooh, talk about pigment, okay? Because of that. <laughs> Let's blot some of this off. We want to build, okay? We're building. We start here, give a little half smile, okay? And we're gonna apply right here, right here, right here, and go up, 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 and then stop right there. <laughs> I literally walk myself through just like that because I'm like, I don't want to do too much, but I do want it to show. I could really stop. I really should stop, but I haven't stopped. <laughs> Yo, blush your face how you want to, feel me? It's been ages since I've been telling y'all about the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stains. Oh my gosh. I mean, what more is there left to say, okay? Number 26, I like to use it as a lip liner, but of course, feel free to use this all over your entire lip. It just looks so good as a liner. Hello. And then blot just a little bit to infuse it or to ombre it. We're gonna do an ombre, okay? This is 76. I love 76 and 66, okay? Either are good. This one is gonna highlight not as much as 66, but still very nicely. Are we here for the subtle, soft, glam, natural look? <laughs> Effortless, but took us an hour. <laughs> Makeup? I know I am. Okay, again, all links to all products are down below. Shop the Sephora savings event at Sephora at Kohl's. Again, you're gonna earn Beauty Insider points and Kohl's rewards. Sign up, it's for free, and you'll at least save 10%. Let's get dressed.